All right, today we are ranking my nine favorite pictures of fire that have been taken in space. When I worked in space station communications, one of my favorite things was when we got new pictures of combustion research from the space station because honestly, they are just works of art. So let's talk about my favorite pictures we got. All right, number nine is this one where the flame is curving along a sphere of solid fuel as a part of the Sophie Gel investigation. You'll notice almost all of these pictures are going to be of flames that are of shapes of spheres because that is the shape of flames in space. This one's a little less abstract and beautiful, but very cool that you can actually see the scientific setup that was used for the study. Number eight is a larger scale study and not a sphere. There was a piece of fabric that was burned aboard a Cygnus spacecraft that was leaving the space station to go burn up upon re-entry into the atmosphere for a sapphire study. These were really helpful larger scales of fire in space. Okay, I gotta go through these faster. This is a picture from the Bass Burning and Suppression of Solids experiment, contributed to helping us figure out how to better extinguish fires in space. I love photo collages as representations of combustion research so you can see how the flame changes over the course of the experiment. For this one, airflow was repeatedly ramped upward and downward, causing the flame to expand and contract. Speaking of, I got another collage for you. Here, these pictures are taken every three seconds as ambient pressure is reduced. The flame becomes bluer and shrinks until it's fully extinguished. Now we're at four, and this is a picture of one of my favorite experiments, flame design. Again, so artistic looking. I love how you can see the hot wire retractable igniter as it ignites the fuel coming out of the spherical burner and the oxygen nitrogen mixture. The goal of this study is to improve our understanding of soot formation and flame extinction. Now, yes, this is a flame in space, but wouldn't you also believe that it looks like a sunrise over the Earth's horizon? In reality, the yellow portion isn't the sun, but it's a small bubble of vaporized fuel that was ejected and reacted as it passed through the otherwise blue flame. Two and one as pictures from my favorite experiment, flame design, the first being a collage of a number of flames. First, my favorite picture, which I think just looks like a glowing fiery dandelion. The yellow spots are soot clusters that glow yellow when hot. They grow larger in microgravity than on Earth because the soot remains in the flame longer. Honestly, I just need to start getting these framed because I think they're beautiful pieces of art and I need to have them around my house.